Hi team, it's Thursday, you're watching The Rough Cuts, I'm Rob, and today I'm reviewing the one and only Herb Maguire plays Wallace Island. Herb Maguire is um, a film by, a short film, it's like 25 minutes long, and it's about this musician, Herb Maguire, this world famous pop star, who has released a few albums and been really successful, but is now kind of jaded with the whole pop star lifestyle and not really that interested so much in music anymore, so he kind of wants to regain his, his love for music and he gets this gig on a remote island and um, decides that he'll, he'll go off and do this small gig and um, the guy who's um, paying him to do this gig is um... <laughs> I know yeah I'm not going to give too much away because it's a 25 minute film so I, if I give too much away I'm giving away the whole plot but there are only two people in the whole film and um... Uh, Herb Maguire is played by Tom Basden and uh, the other guy in the film is Tim Key. Tim Key is easily my favourite comedian because he, everything he does is funny, not only his, are his um, jokes funny and he does little short poems as well, not only are they funny but also the kind of um, character he plays is someone who's a little bit awkward, a little bit nervous and just the way he trips over his words it just has me in stitches so he doesn't even have to say anything and um, I'm already on the floor, so I'm going to show you a clip now of him because I can show you a quick clip. This poem is about the uh, Taliban, which is, I suppose, the closest we have is the... Well, we don't really have one. We have to one of those things where you have to travel to really see it properly in its, in its own environment. The Taliban should be bloody banned if I ran Iran or Afghanistan, I wasn't sure which one. I'd ban them, I'd can them, I'd fan them, which is um, in brackets light them and then fan them to get the flames going up them. And then I'd lock up the leaders and re-educate the followers. Try and get some progress over there. Try and restore a little bit of law and order in that neck of the woods. You can't beat this guy. And it's not very often that you see people who are great comedians also being great actors. Um, this is a comedy film, but it, the kind of but it's played straight, so that so the the acting required is a bit. You know, it, it's more than you'd expect from, say, someone like Steve Martin, for example, you know, who just is a fucking goofball, dickhead, douchebag, knob, jaw. That guy's a fucking douchebag. I don't know when that guy was funny. I don't know why um, stand-ups seem to think Steve Martin's the shit. Why am I talking about Steve Martin? This has nothing to do with this film. So I'm not going to let this review go on much longer because it'll be longer than the actual film. I'm asking you to go and watch. But the good thing about the film is it's, it's online for free and you can just go ahead and watch it for free. So I advise you to do so and in, enjoy it.